Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brianna and I'm a third grade teacher in North Carolina. Today is Sunday. Puppers is sleeping over there. Ever since I left him on Friday, since I had my first work day, he sleeps a good amount of the morning now. So that's brilliant amazing because I can get so much done I just made coffee and breakfast so I'm going to hang out eat that drink that and get printing some stuff because the cursive character trait alphabet that is up in my classroom has received an update and it's beautiful so I kind of want to change it it will obviously be the last thing that I do in classroom setup if I do because I'm trying to have everything put together by tomorrow. We have meetings all day Tuesday. We have a meeting Wednesday afternoon and open house is Thursday. So I have to be ready and it'll just make me feel better if I do that. But I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. So I will let you know how that goes. Okay, so currently Hagrid is sleeping on his pretzel. Ignore the emergency pee pee pad. In the office, finally got my two shelves hung. Have not stained them, but that's okay. And when we went into this stud here, the old part, I guess, where people hung things in this apartment before started coming out, so love that for me. What I'm working on currently, I know my desk is not as clean as it was the other day. But anyway, I'm printing out my numbers for my multiplication fact wall. These are going to be smaller than what I usually work with, but that's okay. That's because I'm going to have my Cricut cut them out. I'm doing print then cut. So I also have the laminator firing up and getting ready because I'm going to print then laminate and then have my Cricut cut it, but I have to do it in that order or else it won't do it correctly. I was also printing out my new alphabet and then my printer ran out of ink. So I might actually reprint all of this because I don't like, it like started fading. There's also, it's not supposed to, I wonder if it's because I was running out of ink that it chose to print like that. I don't know why it did that for some of the letters. I really do like the colorful one though. So maybe I just won't print out the black and white one and I'll just use the colorful one. That's probably what I'll do. And there's multiple words for one letter, so I have to choose. But this is just the updated version of the one I already have in my classroom. And like I've said, this is going to be like a last resort. I think it is smaller. So we will move that out of the way. That's what's currently going on. This was just a tester page, so I'll just print on the back of it. While I'm in here, let me tell you about my beautiful handbag from Teddy Blake. I've had this for a couple months now, and it is like legit my first real designer bag without the extensive cost now it's still up there but it is genuine leather majority of their bags are less than five hundred dollars they have so many different sizes and i am a huge component of teachers being able to treat themselves as well guys we do so much for the kids that like we need to do things for ourselves and i'm so appreciative of teddy blake to sending this to me to share with y'all but not only do they have 70% off going on right now, but you also get $30 off with my code down below. It would make a great gift. They have so many sizes, so many styles, so many colors, and they update them all the time. It is genuine leather made in Italy. This is the Ava black and gold, I believe the 12 inch. I'll leave the exact link down below. It has the adjustable shoulder strap, but it also has this little handle the only thing I was hesitant about was this closure because I'm very on the go with my bags and I open and close it often like when I'm running in and out of Target and when you're holding this and it's not standing sturdy like look how amazing this is crafted it's so 
nicely well made. But I was annoyed by that. And so I talked to them and I was like, maybe like the only thing that bothers me about this bag is the closure and they literally gave me the option to exchange it for a different one and i was looking and i was looking and i'm like oh, there's others but like i love everything else about this bag so i ended up sticking with this one because it's literally the perfect size it's not too big not too small it has the zipper inside. It has a zipper on the back as well. It came in this beautiful box. Like, come on. We need to spoil ourselves, guys. Everyone deserves this. I wanna keep this box, do things with it. It came with a dust bag, of, of course. Let me tell you, this is the nicest thing I've ever received. It also has the little lock. You can hang on it for an extra detail. You guys should definitely at least check out their website, the sale going on, my code with the link down below, and see if you can find the designer bag that's made for you. Let me know if you end up getting one. I would love to see which one you choose because, you know, I, I need another one soon. So thank you so much to Teddy Blake. I'm giving up on this project right now because it's not, it's just not working. When you print then cut, it gives you a border. And this is the line that the Cricut uses as a guide to cut out your object. And it tells you to make it bleed, which makes the line a little bit thicker, but it's not cutting it perfectly. And I don't know why. That's just the cardstock, which by the way, this is very flimsy cardstock. Well, if you put it through the laminator before you cut it, then there's a glare so the sensor doesn't work, so it won't cut it this way. Tried to just cut it again after I laminated, but it's still, eh, I'm done with this project today. My car light, it is 6.44. I am headed in to my second work day and I'm hoping to get my classroom completely set up today as much as I can because this week is open house and next Monday is the first day of school. So. All right, so if you missed my layout setup, make sure you go watch my other video. I left my library. I'm gonna tackle the books that are out before I do anything else today just to be done with that. Pocket full of primary labels. I'll leave the link down below, but these are the old version. I prefer them. Yeah, let's get cracking. All right, so all of these books are labeled and categorized. I know it looks a mess. I don't have all my buckets out yet and I'm just putting it like that for now so it's off the floor. On to the next task. All right, so what I ultimately need to do is empty out all of these. This is where all my books were. So that one's empty. And this is stuff like my resources and things. I need to find a spot for all of it. And then this side has all my chapter books, but I'll do that last. So of course I got sidetracked. I'm currently trying this tacket. I just put a bunch of dots on the back of my math letters and I'm gonna let it dry and we will come back to it in a moment. I'm only gonna do those first to see if it actually works. Um, I might spread it a little bit, but whatever. We'll just leave it and get back. I pulled everything out of this cubby, well, the top cubbies, and I brought it all over here. So currently, I'm pulling out everything from this cubby. I got everything from this side and this side at the top. Most of it is just resources, and I've decided I have the resources out that I utilize throughout the week or want easy access to. And then all of this is gonna go in my cabinet. 
The rest of this is my read alouds, which I'm definitely going to store differently this year. My desk stuff is in there, so pulling all of that out. Okay, so this used to be my storage of my extra materials and old classroom theme stuff. So I think I'm gonna keep these out actually because I have good calendar numbers there, but this is my circus classroom stuff and some board game stuff. I don't know where I put the rest of it. Throw back to my popcorn chairs. I think there's two here, but that used to be in this cubby because it was on the reverse side last year. So I have to move this stuff to the other side. And then I'm just gonna spin this one around. This is the storage of all my wipes, paper towels, tissues, um, sanitizer, extra supplies. And now I see there's binders in there that I have to take out. So I'm gonna spin this one. Charger. So the stuff that I pulled out of here, which is no longer a ton, is just going to go on that side. And like I said, I'll flip this one around. And that's good because this is the one that doesn't close correctly. Perfect. Alrighty, so it is the next day, but let me show you the progress that I've made. I was in the zone yesterday cleaning out all those cubbies and just really had to stay focused because I am limited on time. You'll see some changes up here and stuff. It's a work in progress. So I moved a bookshelf over here because I just have too much stuff <laughs> that I needed another bookshelf so I turned that one and so my little teacher area is coming together which is nice i have a lot less books and resources out this year and then i made room and went ahead and put the ones that i don't always grab for on my shelf here a lot of this is math resources and then science and social studies and writing because i'm not planning math this year so that's all that. This cabinet isn't as messy as I thought, so that's something that I just wanna organize, but that would be easy since I fixed them up last year. And then this one is not bad at all. I wanna do something different with my recess because I don't want the kids to come in the cabinet and that'll make room for all this extra stuff. Library is still just the original books I had out. I pulled out all my other bins. All my chapter books are still in the cabinet, but I will get to that. I have like all my extra bins on this table in case I need any. I have new books that need to go in my library, so I guess I can technically put those over there. My school does the Caring for Classrooms fundraiser which is amazing and I've spoken about it so many times. It's where I got my wobble stools from, but basically it's like a fundraiser where anyone can donate gift cards to a specific teacher and then you can shop on their website. Now everything's prices and shipping is outrageous. However, I get gift cards from like aunts and uncles who I wouldn't typically get it from who participate in fundraisers. So I bought dividers for my students' data binders. I bought three prong folders for center folders for all my kids to have the same one. I also got these passports because my coworker and I were thinking of doing some kind of like travel the world of genres to teach our kids. So that was on there. I sticky dotted the rest of my letters so they're dry and ready to go. Math is up there. Obviously that's not how I'm keeping the banner, but I did notice, here's writing. I put it up so much higher. That way I have so much more room back there and then I will just adjust the donut banner when I get to it. So then I have writing is blue and reading is yellow. So I have to stick those up today, which will be super simple. This is the Tacket glue, which basically makes glue dots and love it. Calendar, I had it here, but it was just 
obnoxious at the front. I think it would look cute over there. I am going to trim it so it fits here. I'll probably just cut this out. I might not even keep the top of this here. Maybe just the month part, but not the year. That way that's simple, and then I'll put the border around it. All of this stuff is just stuff I need to file. This bookshelf is new that I'm doing this year the way I've organized this. This is all of my personal read alouds. The bin is all math books. These are all my picture books and then my chapter books and then these are like my book study books. I thought pulling them out of the cabinet and storing them like this not only looks cute but it also saves me cabinet space. I went ahead and put this is what I also got from Caring for Classrooms, binders. So the dividers are inside of it, not opened yet because that was too much work. But each student has a binder. I actually think I need to get one more, but that's okay. Our agendas came in, so I'm just storing those there for now so they're out of the way. I moved the mirror over here and I made it my height this year so that I can see y'all. And oh, I switched the cubby numbers. So ignore the 20 over here and this stuff is gonna be moved too. But I wanted this section to be the least amount of students since I have this here. This is possibly where I'm going to store recess materials. I don't know, cause it's kind of big. I would almost love to have another white bookshelf to be determined, but I wanted the least amount of students here. So I have three kids here instead of four, which is why one starts randomly. And in order for it to go in order, I had to do one over here and not over there or else counting was backwards and it was throwing me off. <laughs> so I have one through 11 and then it goes 12, 15, and then 16 through 19. I believe our cap is 19. So that should be good. All of these cubbies are empty. I believe, yes, ready to go. Everything's out of them. That's all pencil box stuff. So something new I'm doing this year is I'm adding a Sharpie to every child because they always needed one. Red pens as always, but I'm also going to do green pens just to spice things up. And also because I had those from my friend's bridal shower. This is our um, giant box of manipulatives for our math program curriculum and I have a lot of this stuff personally so I don't use it all the time but it used to be in this bin and that bin so I consolidated it all to this bin so I can potentially use that bin for something else. This flag is throwing me off a little bit. I tried to move it but I don't really know what to do with it. Student supply area is coming along. This is just where I keep extra glue sticks, erasers, highlighters, expos, crayons, markers, and then I don't know what I'm gonna do at the top. I probably won't put turn-in bins there. And I usually put, my paper is over here in my mailboxes since I have so many extras. Copy paper, lined paper, and graph paper. So I don't need like a paper holder over there. This area is coming along. I pulled out like just display things. These are my stony clover letters that I just made myself. My Cricut cut them out. I didn't laminate them because it's not like I'm pulling them on and off so they're fine. And I didn't want to have to spray them with matte spray paint. So I'll probably like pull the donuts. Maybe this one can go on the other side. But so they're just around it like that. I don't know why I didn't do that before and I had the word so low, but I probably also will not keep books on this top shelf here because it's going to block all of my anchor charts. Maybe I'll keep them in the writing area. I think I'm going to do tiny anchor charts here I also have my writing pencil, which you won't be able to see. So we'll have to figure that out, but that's okay. Um, I still have these. If you guys have any ideas of what to use these for, I'm not using them for clipboards. I just, I was gonna do a Chromebook charging station, but we are getting our Chromebook carts back this year. I actually charge our Chromebooks. 
So I don't know, but I thought they could be useful. So I'm holding on to them. And that's pretty much where we're at. Okay, I think I'm gonna move my math up a tiny bit. <laughs> I went through trouble with this. This doesn't match perfectly, but it's fine. I do like the height of that one though, and I think the math is a little bit lower. So I'm gonna just push it up. The donuts look great too. I think I'm gonna lift this one a little bit higher. That's perfect. All the holes are covered because there's holes in my whiteboard for some reason. I need to get WD-40 because Maylene told me that and she showed us, if you watch her uh, videos or follow her on Instagram, that it makes this board that is terrible at erasing easier to erase. So I need to adjust that. Um, and then I'm gonna do reading. The great thing about the tacket is you don't have to spend hours folding tape to put on the back of your letters. And this board is not magnetic, so I can't do that either. And it's restickable. So, and look how easy that comes off. Even without it being laminated, it's not ruining my letters here. Good morning, sunshine. We have meetings all day today. So I'm gonna try to get things done. And if I can have time at the end of the day, um, I'll update y'all. <laughs> 